I'm Max Freck and you're watching Talking Dirt. My personality is a little bit more quiet, um, but I like to keep myself. I have a lot of fun, I laugh, I joke around a lot, but you know, in my own space. But when it comes to the track, I'm, you know, I'm there to do a job and I want to try and do the best I can. You know, a little bit of a different approach to some people, but uh, you know, that's how I am, that's who I am, so that's how it works. I've been living in Roslev now for two years. Uh, this is my second year after last season with COVID, we moved out here. Um, you know, it's easier living here in the way of travel for our races, things like that. We're a little bit closer to the main hub of my racing here. So that's, that's much easier, but it is a lot different to what I'm used to in always living in, say, an English-speaking uh, country uh, with either England or Australia. So there's, uh, you know, a little bit to get used to, but um, it's a really nice place. We have some good weather in summer, so I can't complain too much. How did you approach the situation with your girlfriend and say, look, we're moving to Poland? <laughs> At the time last year, we didn't really have much of a choice. I was coming and uh, she didn't come out in the beginning, but uh, after, after a couple of months when things eased off a little bit, she came out and, and she really enjoys it here. What's it like being with a Grand Prix rider? There's a lot more to it than you kind of expect at the start. I mean, I thought it would be kind of simple for them, like, you know, they ride once, twice a week, whatever. But then when you realise all the stuff they've got to kind of organise themselves, and they pretty much do everything themselves, flights, hotels, yeah. you've got to make sure they're here at this time and all of that, you realise it is a lot, a lot of work for them, which I didn't fully appreciate until a bit further on in the relationship, I suppose. You just thought he was bombing around, flying in and out of countries. Well, you kind of do, you think that about athletes in general, you kind of think, you know, oh, they're really lucky, they do a job that they're just talented at, and you kind of wish that you could do the same. But, yeah, I think it's a lot of pressure as well, like, all the money you earn is just up to you. It's yeah, yeah. What you do, you know. And then some idiot knocks you off and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the worst thing, because I completely like trust Max on a bike. I'm never worried about, you know, him doing something wrong, but it's just whenever someone's What about when he's him, on a scooter? Oh no, I completely <laughs> trust him. I'm like absolutely, I'm absolutely petrified of everything anyway, but you know, I feel as safe as I possibly could be with Max. So I say this to Max all the time, like when I watch you ride, I'm never nervous. I'm only ever nervous when someone's close to you and I don't trust them. <laughs> My, my family, we traveled a lot as, as a junior to, to get to different events. Uh, and, you know, every weekend we were away racing, whether it's 10 or 12 hour drives, it didn't really matter. Um, so fair play to my parents. They were very helpful when it comes to that and very dedicated. I think, you know, all the traveling I did as a kid um, definitely helps me out over here. You know, it doesn't bother me to get up early for a flight or to travel to Sweden and on a Tuesday, stuff like that, it's, you know, I, I quite enjoy it really. So I live in Andorra, I'm based there throughout the year um, and you know in the off season sometimes I go back to uh, Australia but this year was based in Andorra for the for the entire winter. There's a lot of other athletes there uh, in the same area that I am and it's really nice to be surrounded by a lot of motivated individuals who are you know at the top of the game in their sport so I think being surrounded by people like that you know can really help me uh, improve myself all the time. Yeah, Georgina has a, what was it, what would we say? I have like a big collection of underwear. Yeah, I love buying him underwear because I buy them really interesting. Multicolored, yeah. different. Hearts, uh, rainbows, fish. Sweets. Ice cream. Different colors. The ones that he wears, do you want to say? <laughs> Which you, ones? The ones that you wear when you're racing. Oh, I've got like... Um, I bought some new ones for this year and they've got lightning bolts on and they're doing well so far. Yeah, so. they're my racing undies at the moment. <laughs> Which ones were you wearing when you won the GP? To be honest, I can't remember, but probably you know the ice cream you ones. You were wearing the Georgina ones because halfway through the year we swapped from the ice cream to the ones with the rainbows on. Yeah, okay. And we thought it kind of was a little bit better. Do you remember? And we said maybe you need to start wearing these ones. Maybe. <laughs> My memory is not that good. I that's true. We'll go with that though. Yeah. I like the, like the sound of that one. I thought it'd be cool if you could line this whole archway with lights and put like a speedway track surface down just temporarily. 
it'd be a bit sketchy, but it'd make for a cool video. If they could temp put like a temporary surface in, I think it would be really cool. <laughs> You're gonna fall. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you definitely do feel lighter. Yeah? Yeah. Diet's working. <laughs> Whilst we're in here in Ross Lab, it's, you know, we do have a lot of spare time uh, at, you know, throughout the week. So um, we just, we have a lot of fun. We, we play around a lot, um, you know, go to lots of different places around the city. Uh, and then I spend a lot of time training. So I've taken up some new hobbies such as bouldering or climbing. Um, so that's nice to go and blow it a time and then some energy in there, which is, which is good. Time to talk about your goals for 2021. <laughs> Just in the middle of something. <laughs> Win as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> My goal is to win, win as much as possible. I want to try and make it to the top six, and I think you know the the championship is so strong, and anyone in that top six has has a uh, has the possibility to be you know on the podium or, or potentially you know in first place in the world championship. So. Uh, it's all it's all there and, and ready to play for. No, not today. Today we're just practicing, so we've got some green ones on today, I think, so. <laughs> Practice pants. No, I haven't ridden it. Oh, like as an away rider I have, yeah. but not yet, so I'm pretty excited for when the fans can get back pretty soon. This place, when it's full, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Obviously, over the years, I see like some pretty cool videos, and then as an away rider, seeing the fans here, it's pretty impressive, so can't wait to be on the on the receiving side of, uh, of as being a, a home rider of the support from the fans here. Yeah, we all got tested, like blood tested before the start of the season to check if we had the antibodies in our system or not. Um, and uh, everyone, you know, riders, mechanics, um, all the staff around the, around the club. And uh, I believe everyone had antibodies except for four of us. Um, you know, I think three riders and one mechanic, so. It's been, uh, a lot of those people didn't know that, you know, if they've had COVID in the past. So a lot of those people must have had COVID at some point and uh, still had some antibodies. So um, I was one of those riders that didn't have any antibodies. So need to keep protected throughout the year and until we can get a vaccine at some point, hopefully soon. A bit of a change is good sometimes. And, you know, I feel very welcome here so far. So I'm pretty happy with the, the move at the moment. And... Hopefully we can keep doing well and scoring some good points throughout the year and, and win a few matches. That's the, that's the main aim of the game, I guess. Last year I didn't really uh, perform how I would have liked. So, um, you know, worked hard in the off season and so far, you know, the start of this season has been much better than where we started last year. It's my second year full time. So uh, I've done a few Grand Prix and, and I know what to expect. You know, this year I feel a lot more confident with my bikes and, and me as a person um, going into the championship. So hopefully I can learn from that and, and you know, use that experience this year in the Grand Prix. Winning in Torrent was, you know, it was really, really cool. Um, it's been a dream come true since I was a child, you know, watching, watching the Grand Prix on TV. And we don't really see the league stuff in Australia as a kid that much. So. We would always watch the Grand Prix and I'd watch, you know, Lee and Jason doing really well. Um, and, you know, to me, that was always the pinnacle of the sport. So to be up there on the top of the podium, um, you know, is, is really is a dream come true and hopefully something I can build off and you know, get up there a little bit more this year. Did you cry? No, I didn't cry. I, I didn't cry, but uh, yeah, it was very emotional. And I think everyone, you know, it's, it's really cool just to come back after the race and, 
you know, see my mechanics and family and friends and speak to everyone and, and everyone's so excited and, and happy, you know, after all the hard work that we've put in all year um, behind the scenes, it's, uh, you know, it really is a, a special moment. This is this year's pick and so far it's actually done a really good job. So I think these are going to stick around for a while. These are actually aged 10 to 12. Bit tight, but you know, he squeezes it. <laughs> we had a few choices last year. Makes it a bit interesting. Don't know what he's going to be wearing that day. <laughs> Until I pull his pants down. 